In this example, we will use mesh controls to change the number of elements along selected edges in this brick caliper model. From the Advanced Simulation Toolbar, select Mesh Control. From the Density Types list, select Corridor Tolerance on Edge. With this option, the software will create a higher density of nodes in areas of the edge where the curvature is greater. Click the Preview button to see where the new nodes will be created. The new node positions are indicated with blue circles. Now click the Auto Size button. Note the new tolerance. Click Preview again to preview the result. Click OK to complete the changes. The mesh control is represented by a diamond symbol. To update the mesh with the changes, click Update Finite Element Model. The mesh around the edge with the mesh control is now refined. Open the Mesh Control dialog box again. From the Density Types list, select Number on Edge. We will use this option to explicitly define the number of elements to create, on three different edges. In the Number of Elements box, enter the number of elements to be created on the edge. Click OK to complete the changes. Update the mesh. Notice the larger number of elements along the edges that have the mesh controls. In the Density Types list, select Biasing on Edge. This option lets you specify a ratio that controls the distribution of nodes along the selected edge. In the Bias Origin list, select End of Edge. This option will bias the nodal distribution starting from the end of the edge. In the Number of Elements box, enter the number of elements to create along the edge. Click the Preview button to preview the result. The bias ratio controls the spacing between consecutive nodes in the biased portion of the edge. The edge fraction defines the portion of the edge that will be biased starting from the origin. The remainder of the edge, beyond the edge fraction, will have uniformly spaced nodes. Because of the 0.5 edge fraction, this half of the edge is biased, and the other half is not. Notice the uniform nodal spacing. Next we will try some different values. To calculate a suggested number of elements, click the Auto Size button. Click OK to complete the change. Update the mesh. The mesh is updated with the changes from the mesh control.